Hey there YouTube, this is Elite Master. And uh, I'm not doing a video review today, instead I'll be doing an update video. And I'll be showing you a couple of things that I have just finished recently or am planning to do stuff with. Well first off here, just a uh, straight belt. I uh, have the Blazaku Phantom from that uh, my mail stuff video and I love this thing. I'm definitely going to pick up more of these things. <laughs> Over here I have my uh, Genbuso Ryofu Talgis, almost completely done. I just need to finish this chest piece right here, remove those stickers, paint it up, make it look nice and pretty. As you can see I took some artistic liberties with it. Like all this gunmetal, it's supposed to have like a silver or something in it, but I chose gunmetal because I thought it looked cool. The skirt I uh, have gold on it. I still need to replace those uh, red stickers though. I like how it's turning out. The weapon looks fairly good now. I'll do a full uh, review of this guy after I finish painting him. He's almost done. I just need to uh, finish the chest piece and that should be it. And uh, as a update on my custom kit patched kits, here is my assault gem with a uh, well, the top of him anyway, he's missing the legs. I just have to finish the legs and that'll be it. Mm. Well, here we have him so far. Oh, and the handguards. Now, what I've done to him, I've taken uh, the vents actually from the Exia, the yellow vents on its chest, and I've snipped them up and put them on the face just to make it uh, a little bit more uh, unique looking. And uh, these cracks in the chest, I'm planning on making... Uh, Battle damage, not battle damage, but weathering on him. Took the Exia shoulder armor, I mean, uh, armor for the GN sword, and I put it on the shoulder. Don't know why, I just thought it was cool looking. I already showed what uh, the GN sword was going to look like. It's not the GN sword anymore, it's just a short sword now. A short stabbing weapon. Still folds out, and I uh, still use it as a pistol. And as you can see here, I made a clip on his waist. For the uh, lance, that's almost done. I just need to do the guard piece that's supposed to be right there. Well, not lance, the uh, halberd pike. I can't quite remember the name of this weapon right now. I just took this clip from a uh, Gelgoog, the clip that it uses to put the beam uh, saber on its uh, shield. And I just put that on there, and it's perfect size for this uh, weapon that I made. Just gonna. Clip it in there. This is gonna chill in the back if we're not in we're not in use. Uh, not much else to say about it. The shield I modified so that what I did was I took off the green cover on the arm and I snipped a peg off from a shield connector and I glued it on there so I could take the shield which I painted up gunmetal and uh, two different shades of blue. And now, because of this hole in the front, it can accept beams of any size, pretty much. But the beam that I have in mind for it is this extra beam that I got from my Infinite Justice custom I made for a Vegeta 8259's contest a while ago. I'm going to put that in there because I like the way the tip looks. I just cut off the peg that was on the end of it. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to paint it with a clear red to give it this nice, well not clear red, clear yellow. Give this nice little orange color to it. I tested that on the tip first, so yeah. <laughs> but I hope that looks really nice. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it so far with the gem custom. With my assault gem, that's what I'm gonna end up calling this guy because I can't come up with good names. <laughs> and as for the other custom they had, my Exia, it's finished. Well, mostly finished. I just need to top coat the weapon. I just threw it on there for the sake of this video. But yeah, he's got the gems uh, shield now. I top coated it all with Krylon flat. He's black. Uh, Krylon purple. Uh, just regular glossy purple. I used a red, a clear red uh, uh, Tamiya paint for the GN condensers and the GN drive. Gunmetal for the joints. 
which gunmetal looks really nice for joints and inner frame parts after it's been uh, top coated with the flat coat so yeah it looks nice there <laughs> so, so this is Krylon black, Krylon purple and a whole bunch of uh, gunmetal silver on this piece and yeah I did that to it as well I made uh, the beam from the other part of the beam from the Infinite Justice snapping not snap but going to there take it in and out all that goodness just because a regular sword wasn't enough it had to have a beam on it I uh, the only plans I had for these uh, parts were to get some extra weapons I'm gonna make uh, some more weapons and put them on the side but other than that he's done the beam sabers I forgot to paint so I'm just gonna quickly spray those down but the Exia is complete. Here's a better look at, uh, the, say, the chest. He doesn't really have a glowing look to his uh, gen condensers. The more foggy looking, as if the condensers were well, really what uh, I was planning on was because this thing's supposed to be a stealth unit. It do you don't want the uh, gen particles glowing and giving off the uh, location of it. So the gen particle. Uh, clear dome parts I made foggy instead and the way I did this was I painted the underneath with a Krylon, with well not Krylon, Tamiya clear red and then top coated it with a flat Krylon and that makes it this smoky red the smoky clear red color and I, I think it looks pretty nice and now with the GM's arms he's got more articulation than the regular Exia in terms of upper body and I think that shield looks a lot better than uh, the Exia shield in terms of like close quarters combat stuff like that but he's essentially done and uh... I've uh, finished building the uh, other model kits I got from my uh... what's in the mail let's take a look over here so yeah there's the RX-78 the uh... little core fighter comes with, the gun tank, the gun cannon, all that goodness, They're, they've been built. <laughs> Sumo's chilling in the back, completely finished. Happy about that. And, uh, that's uh, essentially it for a while now. For uh, just a quick look at some things that I've got recently. I recently picked up Dark of the Moon, uh, Cyberverse Commander Class Megs to go with my Voyager Class version. Cyberverse Commander Class Optimus and the Deluxe Class version. Can't wait to pick up the Ultimate Optimus. That's going to be a must buy for me. Over here, there's my Scourge and my Wing Zero Endless Waltz Custom Color Scheme version. That's uh, pretty much that. And uh, in terms of the other Transformers that I've bought recently, there's my entire Dark of the Moon shelf so far. Not much. But I do have Shockwave, Topspin, uh, Skyhammer, Sandstorm. I think it's Sandstorm, I can't remember. And uh, Thunderhead. Next to my Power Core Combiners. Also a very small shelf. Now for projects that I'm actually going to be working on next, um, after I've finished up those guys, well, except for the Zaku, once I finish up uh, the Togis and my gym custom, my gym uh, assault type, that entire bag is filled with my uh, GM sniper that I bought for like 10 bucks pre-built. And uh, my Togis 3 100 kit. I'm planning on uh, taking the Togis 3 parts because they're mostly hollow anyway, modifying them, emptying them out and just pretty much gluing them onto the inner frame of that GM uh, it's going to require a lot of modding I don't even know if I'll be able to finish it uh, anytime in the next few months it's going to take a lot of time, this is going to be my biggest project that I've ever worked on and uh, yeah I was trying to paint that GM in his uh, in the ARC 78 colors but I completely gave up on that because I lost a lot of the uh, armor parts but the tall geese is complete. I'm gonna do a lot of work to that guy because I know there is going to be a tall geese three model 
Master Grade coming out soon. Well, maybe not soon. But the Epion came out, so the Tall Geese has to be inevitable. And I can't really wait, so I'm going to do something with that. Then after that, I'm actually going to think about taking my Virtue over there. I built that alongside my uh, Exia, and it's not holding up all that well. So I'll take that, and maybe my Gunai Gus, uh, Jagdoga over there, and try and combine them. Try and make uh, another kit bash of that. Uh, I'm trying. I'll try. My Togis over there in the back, my regular Ryofu Togis with the, the horse, I have to... Uh, do a lot of work on that horse because I messed up the paint when I first started on him. The Toggies itself is pretty much done, but the horse just needs work. I'm not even going to try to finish that one. That's a lot of painting on it. I'm not going to say I'm not going to try. I'll try, just it's not in the, the cards anytime soon anyway. I'm planning on purchasing another one of those to make a uh, Banshee custom. And yes, my Zgok is doing a handstand. Uh, that's essentially it in terms of purchases I am hoping to make soon. Not much, because there's a, a lot of time I can do this stuff with. But yeah, that's uh, essentially my updates for now, anyway. This is the Leap Master, and uh, tune in for the next video. Hopefully it'll be a review. Ah, who am I kidding? It might be a review. Might just be another mail stuff until I uh, procrastinate long enough for it to happen. <laughs> ah. Oh well. Well, my assault gems coming in nicely, I think. My real Futogis comes nice, and I'm really happy with the e the Exia turned out. Well, not the Exia. Thanks to Gundam Legacy Extreme, I got the name uh, Astral, Astral, something. <laughs> so that's it for now. Tune in later.